Now, if you're just joining us, this conversation comes from Jay-Z and Gail King. They were talking about Jay-Z being a cool parent. Do your kids think you're cool? Uh, Blue, she, she be fronting on me a little bit, but she, 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 <laughs> I, I catch her. I catch her in the corner, you know. <laughs> now she asks me, you know, if this cool, if, you know, her, her sneakers or whatever oh, she, she's wearing. She now. wants your advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she's come back. But there was a time where she was like, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm cool. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yes. At your house, your parents is cool. So we're asking 800-585-1051, do you think if your kids think that you are cool? That is the question. I don't know if I care about my kids thinking I'm cool in the way of cool that we are thinking. Uh, I want my kids to believe I'm cool enough to have a conversation with about anything. You know what I mean? I want my kids to think that I'm cool enough that whatever they're going through, whatever's on their mind, whatever, you know, uh, uh, obstacle they may be facing, whatever decision they may, may be thinking about making, if they're in some trouble, I want them to feel like my pops is cool enough that I don't have to hide anything from him, that I don't have to ask any of my little ashy ass friends. I can go to my dad <laughs> because my dad is not going to be judgmental. My dad is not going to be upset with me. My dad is going to have my back regardless. I want to be known cool like that. I don't care if she think I got on cool sneakers or anything like that. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same way. My my kids uh, can talk to me about anything, regardless of what it is, good, bad, and different. I'm that cool. I'm that parent that they can have a discussion and not have to worry about dad wilding out or, or dad screaming or yelling or getting mm -hmm. in trouble. We're, we're able to have those open lines of communications in our house, and that's with all my kids, from my oldest to, to the youngest. But I'm also that parent, too, that I like to play those type of embarrassment games to my kids and embarrass the issue out of them. I remember... Uh, Last year, uh, I picked up my kids and I was dressed up for Halloween. I was dressed up as a baby. I had a pamper on and I walked outside and I embarrassed the ish out of them. That is so I am embarrassing. That, I am that, that parent as well, too. I play jokes with my kids. I, I am pull my finger when they do. I'm going to fart. Yes, that, I am that parent as well. Don't what? look like that, Carmen. I see you in the corner looking like that. But yes, I am that parent. I, I'm, Where did you pick your kids up from with the diaper on? Uh, school. Oh. school. Oh, my God, that hurts. I mean, yeah, listen, cool. man, Envy's embarrassing. We know oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> he embar embarrasses me all the time. He's just an embarrassing individual. Lauren, you got a cool mom, right? Yeah, my mom's cool, but I, I didn't used to think she was cool. And I didn't appreciate the cool okay. when I was younger. I think it's to which the point that y'all are saying, where, like, she would get with me, but I think she always, especially because, you know, I'm a girl, she mm -hmm. always wanted me to feel like something's going on, boys, whatever, I want to equip you with the information, number That's one. Right. Like, you, I want you to be honest about what's going on out here. But also, too, I want you to be able to come to me and talk to me. That's right. But when you're young, it feels like, Mom, like, why are you trying to be in my business? Or you're not my friend. Like, I used to tell my mom all the time, Mom, we're not friends. Like, we're not. We don't We don't have to be friends, but your parents no. should be your closest confidants. Even though I, cool. I'm not going to sit here and act like mine were, but I try to be like that with my kids. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when you talk about unconditional love, there's nobody on this planet that's going to love you mm -hmm. like your parents do. So Correct. those are the two individuals you should be able to bring anything to. Like, I want my kids to feel like they can talk to me about anything at any, well, not everything. Some things take to your mama because daddy don't want to know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, m almost anything. Yeah, and, yeah. and <clears throat> now I appreciate it though. Like, now that I'm older and like I've been through some of those things that she was trying to coach me through mm -hmm. early, I just felt like she, she gave me the, the rule book and the guidelines a bit early raw i didn't really understand life a lot mm -hmm. so it felt like mom i'm growing up too fast but i think she's just trying to protect me i get it now and i appreciate it because i have friends who can't go to their moms about stuff and who can't right. have certain conversations and my mom is the like she gonna really tell you how it really is and my friends appreciate that so now i get it nyla you got and cool also you parents right you talk you go to your parents about everything yeah my parents are very cool I love my parents. I'm probably a little too open with my parents. I don't think there's no such thing. Nah, not at <laughs> no, all. No, how you just said, no, not everything. I don't want to know everything. I tell both parents everything. You don't yeah, tell my, my, everything. my kids tell yes, me everything, I too. I, it might yep. be delayed. It might be like two weeks after because I know how my dad could get. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell them. And I do that because... Big, you don't need... By the way, you don't need to tell daddy everything. <laughs> yes, I do. You do. No, you yes, don't. You do. Yes, Absolutely. I do. Absolutely, yes, you do. Yes, he's you the do. one who makes sure my compass is straight That's all right. the time. I don't, I don't like, know. my mom nope. is like... My mom is the one who be like, you're a good person, you know, like you, nope, you're doing okay. Perfect. And then my dad is like the, you know, tighten the tighten up. You need both. You do. You need the love. You, you need the balance. You need you the do. navigation. Absolutely. I love that. That's, that's how it should be. Your, your daughter should be able to tell you anything, whether it, it's a, a mom related issue or not. Your daughter should be comfortable enough to be able to say, See, Lord, you know what? I'm going to tell my dad. You okay? That's how I am with my kids. He my daughter told me, Envy, a, a daughter come to you and tell, talk about some man. Told her she don't know how to give fellatio. 
I would prefer my daughter to talk to me. It'll be an uncomfortable conversation. You tell but her I want my daughter it, huh? to be able to talk to me. <laughs> you gonna tell her? How to, you gonna tell her? <laughs> you walked right, right into that. You gonna tell her how Wait. to do it, huh? <laughs> I want my daughter to be able to talk to me about anything. And I just want to say another thing too is a lot of parents sometimes they don't want they're too cool for their kids, right? They don't want to do certain things because they feel like they're too cool. No. You be a kid, man. You be a father with you, to your child. Like that's why I love the car shows because when when I have the car shows, I see so many parents with their kids in the jumpy pit, in the this and the that. Like be like enjoy your kids. Yeah, I'm with all of that, but don't come to me about no sexual stuff. You gotta grow out of that. No, talk you to you your do. mom. About I'm gonna that. tell you why you, you need gotta... to grow out of that, right? Because as a, so, my dad, me and my dad are cool. But I told y'all, I didn't meet my dad until I was like 13, right? When I got to the point where I started dealing with guys and stuff like that, we weren't in a comfortable space where I could talk to him about things. Now that I talk to him, I realize so much of like what I want to do better when it comes to my male relationships and just mm -hmm. how I handle myself with men, yeah. protecting my body, all that stuff, because of the conversations I have with my dad. My mom d tries, right? But you didn't meet your dad until you was 13? Yeah, I didn't meet him until I was 13. Why? She told us he got the into some. I don't know. Like listen, he just. Bro. I was one. He, he was in prison. No, I was one. He left, and I didn't see him again until I was thirteen. So, so when you, <laughs> you see how he's trying to flip. Why you, you laugh? You see how he's trying to flip? Why you laugh? No, he's no, trying to flip it. You know what? Hold on. Let's go to the phone lines. So, so, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. So if, no. if, a, if a guy ghosts you, you say, "Dad, man, this guy ghosted me." He'd be like, "Well, that's, you know. yo, that. Why would you? Yo, let's go to Lauren. Lauren, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my call. I'm sorry. We give you the okay because that. That's crazy. No. That's Yo, let's crazy. go to the phone line. You an idiot, Yo, bro. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Thank you for name? coming. Well, jeez. Well, I can see why people sometimes hang up. Y'all guys be going in. <laughs> How are you, man? Now, we're talking about Good morning, DJ Envy. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Lauren. Good morning, Charlemagne. My name is Yolanda. Good morning, Yolanda. Hey, Yolanda. Hey. Do you care about being a cool parent? Well, to be honest, no. Why? But, um... Because I'm not, I'm not trying to be cool, to be honest. No, but I will break it down for you. All right. So I have three children, well, three mm -hmm. kids. I have a 19 year old, a 20 year old, and an eight year old. Mm -hmm. So my 20 year old son, he thinks I'm cool. I don't, I don't know why. My 19 year old daughter, she loves K-pop. I don't know half of the stuff she be talking about. So she don't think I'm cool. <laughs> my eight year old, she I'm 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 all that in a bag of chips and some Polynesian sauce from Chick fil A. That's right, which is better wow. than Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm sorry, Lauren, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she does. Cause mommy, we be having dance offs after hours on the weekend. But I am when it comes to school days, I'm very authoritative, but we do our dance offs. Um and mommy know the latest dances of everything. So, yeah, mommy's cool to the eight-year-old. Yeah, I think that you not going to know if you really cool to your child till your child gets older. Yeah, I'm telling you. you know I also I mean? think, I think my mom's so cool now. I used to be like, oh, why did you have to do that? I think when I was younger, I loved my parents. Then when I became like a teenager, I was kind of off of it. But mm -hmm. then once I got to college and was by myself, I'm like, oh, my God, yes. I miss you guys. You'd so. be like, mommy. Mm -hmm. I've been away from my mom for a couple of days. I called her. I said, like, I miss you. What you doing? What about daddy? Let's go. Let's open I, up the phone lines. You, you know, shut you up, man. I'm just asking a question. I want daddy. I want daddy to get 1051051. We're asking, do you want to be the cool parent? Do you care if you're the cool parent? Let's discuss. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hello, who's this? Oh, this is Ray B, Raymond Butler. Hey, Raymond, Raymond Butler. B. Are you are you the cool parent? I'm the cool parent. I'm I'm from I'm from the Camel Soup City where Oh boy. Well in our projects we you you was the cool parent, but that's me now. I live up here in Warren and all my kids' friends like me. You still in the project? I make sure they got they stay, stay over my crib, you get a good breakfast, you get a good lunch, but to turn it up, I'm going to pump up my speakers, and we're going to get our jam on. Music. Ray B, you, you play gonna play spades? that old school music. You play spades, Ray B? Man, do I play what? Spades. Oh, man, I play spades. I, I hear play punk. I play dominoes. They just be man. turned up over your crib, huh? What kind of jams you be playing man, for the kids, man? What kind of jams you play for them? Marvin Gaye. Oh man, I got. I, you already know I got to take him back to the old school Red Man. Okay. And I got to take him back. I got to take him back to the meth. 
Okay. I got to take him back to my brother Lynch. Got to keep him gangster. I got to take it to my brother Lynch. Brother Lynch. But then huh? I got to go to the new school. What's the new school? What's the new school? Blueface. Okay. Oh Blueface. Wow. <laughs> he go all over the place. Yeah. I, so I hear somebody I, whispering. I that, must be your, that must be your child whispering to you. <laughs> you say it's my whispering. <laughs> I heard somebody kid? whispering, feeding, Is feeding that your you kid? No, I'm no, I'm just in my car. Okay. Well, thank you, nah. sir. Thank you, bro. Well, he went all over the place. He went red man, met the man, then he went. He uh, acting his age. I ain't got no problem. Sound like that pop. Then he, he went still blue face. His, his cognac out the plastic, the uh, paper bag. Come on now, big on. Hello, who's this? Good morning, it's your boy Lovey from the Bronx. Lovey from the Bronx. I know your kids don't think you cool because you be wearing them construction Timberlands with the jean shorts <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> you in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> the phone clip. Respectfully, it's Mr. 13 and a half, but I, you, your kids, not only should they respect you, but you want them to look at you in a different light as far as a father's perspective. My son, as a Single father, my son asked me to be his best man at his wedding, also to read his vows. That to me was like winning the Super Bowl. Envy, I know, Shala, I know y'all got kids, so we have to look at it as we set the template for a father, for our children. You're absolutely right, King, but um, I have to let the world know that you are the man who calls up here and lets everybody know you have a 13 and a half inch penis. So that means your kids know about that too. So they say, yo, this is my daddy. He got a big. I thought he was talking about his shoe size. No. No. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Sorry. How did they introduce you? <laughs> they, that, that doesn't come into the conversation, Sean. I'm like just it. making sure you, that's your calling card. You always talking about it. <laughs> that, that's not my calling card. But, we, but as, a, as a growing man, Charlotte, you know how it is. No, I don't. I wish I knew how I had was to have a penis as large as yours, sir. I'm very average. I'm about to throw up. He is very Can small, sir. Next, tiny. <laughs> but, but, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, Charla, you have to look at it like this. Your daughters are gonna look. Their first lover is gonna emulate you. It's gonna because you're the the first male image that they're gonna fall in love with. Well, yeah, I, 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 and I hope they get uh, the, the the more healed version of me. That's what that's my that's my hope. You know what I mean? But you have to show them what what a healed version of a man looks like, so they're able to recognize it in another man. You know what well, I mean? Thank you, Lord. right? Like I don't right, want well, them. The to, I don't want them to get the version of me that hadn't you know processed their trauma yet and was projecting a lot of pain and a lot of hurt on the other people. I want them to be able to recognize you know what a healed individual looks like, so they can. You know, gravitate, and they'll gravitate towards that just because of you know who they are. You know, but the closer y'all get to, even what they learn about you when you weren't that, and then them seeing you now, it's gonna open their eyes up. Yeah, to let things. me go burn these books and all all this old audio and all this other stuff. No, you yeah. want them to see but, that. But I think, I think you have those conversations. I'm not ashamed. Of, I'm not ashamed of any version of myself. Yeah, every every version of myself, uh, you know, taught me valuable lessons. Well, yeah, and they should learn from your lessons, so hopefully they don't have to go through the things that you did. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have those 100%. conversations all the yeah. time. All right. Well, when we come back, we have passed the aux. Nyla is here. She's going to put us on to some songs that we should know about. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.